Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is about Azura. I think Azura is probably the second most picked up unit now, so I make a guide for Azura this time. Just need to tell you that Azura is really fun to play, but also needs some practice to utilize her properly with many investment. Also I think there are more ways to play Azura. This guide is based on my recommendation, and if you find other ways to play, try and let us know. Ok, let's start the guide. Whenever Asura uses her skill, she will have this little bar running. This is her essential buff, Flame Heater. I'll just call it FF. This gives 20% bonus on fire damage, and you need to practice to hit the enemy when this buff is on. Secondly, all of Asura's skill animation can be cancelled by press dodge. This is the skill with full animation, and this is when the animation is cancelled. By cancelling the animation, Asura gains more time to use buff, allowing you to maximize her efficiency. It is essential to utilize this skill cancellation effectively. However, if you cancel it too fast on skill 1 and 2, you fail to launch the skill. So you have to practice the timing of cancelling. For skill 1, you dodge when the punch is appeared in the air. For skill 2, just wait slightly before dodge. For skill 3, you can dodge right after you use the skill 3. Lastly, holding the normal attack release the fire wolf. Fire wolf during the buff will lower the fire resistance. And fire wolf will be enhanced after the buff ends and the damage is doubled. The animation of fire wolf also can be cancelled. Just dodge as soon as Asura lands on the ground. Fire Wolf is now enhanced when Asura enters a buff or when buff is extended. This enhanced Fire Wolf will lower the fire resistance and can stack up 5 times. Start practicing to launch 1 skill plus 1 Fire Wolf in FF buff first. Next, practice to launch 1 skill plus 2 fire wolf in FF buff. If you can do that, then practice to use all 3 skills flawlessly and always lock up the target. The mechanism without the functor involves using a skill to activate the FF buff followed by fire wolf to reduce the fire resistance and use enhanced fire wolf before lower resistance effect expires. The mechanism with the functor involves using a skill to activate the FF buff followed by enhanced fire wolf to reduce the fire resistance and deal the damage. Reapply the enhanced fire wolf before the resistance reduction effect expires. However, the combo between with or without signature functor is similar. It's more different on code, so let's check out the code. First of all, use either yellow or blue line. I tried red line many times, but the total damage cannot be compared with other code. Let's see the yellow code. The characteristics of yellow code are as follow. Gain 12 energy every time you get into FF buff. Use 50 of current energy to increase the damage of fire wolf and gains damage bonus based on energy use. This damage bonus can be stacked. FF buff doesn't need to be on all the time. It is okay to be off between skills. Combos look like this. Using a skill to activate the FF buff followed by fire wolf to reduce the fire resistance and use enhanced fire wolf before lower resistance effect expires do this with all 3 skills To 
the only difference from combo without functor is you need to try to launch the skill a little bit faster to keep the damage bonus. Yellow code has the higher potential in damage, not so strict on continuing the FF buff. The cons of this code is you have to manage the energy well. If you cannot manage the energy well, the combo will get stuck and DPS will be dropped. I recommend use maximum 2 fire buff between 1 FF buff. I find it too difficult to manage the energy if I use more than 2 fire buff. However, once you are get used to manage the energy well, you can start to see when to use more fire off and the damage is getting higher and higher. This signal is recommended to help to manage the energy. However, once you get better in managing the energy, then this signal will be fine too. Now let's check the blue code. The characteristics of blue code are fire damage bonus of FF buff become 45%. FF buff time is extended by 4 seconds when Azura enters FF buff second time. Damage bonus from FF buff now can stack up to 3 times when it is extended. Combo in Blue Code is aiming to stack up to 3 damage bonus from FF buff by extended quickly and maintain the FF buff as long as possible. The main deal is by spamming the fire buff. In blue code, combo is same with or without signature functor. So the combo in fight is like this. This code is more speedy and fun to play. Also the damage is pretty stable on each try. The cons of this code is you have to invest more to get all the necessary skill effect on dodge. You can see the dodge gauge is all out and cannot dodge anymore when the fight becomes longer. Skill effect on dodge will also help yellow code but more crucial in blue code. Also the damage potential was lower than yellow code. One more thing is I saw someone on reddit said the blue code is bugged and not working properly. When I checked mine, it looked working as normal, but if you are not sure about that, then stick to yellow code for now. Recommended sigil is good to use, just note on sigil. New sigils will be added in later version of the game, and the sigil combination will also be changed, so you don't need to stick to one fixed set. See and try other combination too. For the cat, I recommend to use this one, as this will help to manage your energy. For the team, this team is probably the best for now, but I think any unit can be fair up with Azra. If you are using a blue code, you can also team up with Okuni for skill cooldown. Okay, so that was my guide for playing Azra. As always, I hope this guide proves helpful for all of you. Thank you so much for watching, enjoy the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.